you think. So, uh, just let me know when you're recording and we'll be good to go, I guess. All right, we're good. Cool. Yay. <laughs> Had I known. Uh, <laughs> last time on Final and Fallen Kingdom, I'm going to decide who gets to recap. Okay. Uh, number three, that would be Xander. Did you recap uh, last time? No. Last time I recapped. And then two times ago was Vulcan, so it's your turn, yellow boy. That sounds wrong. <laughs> That's fine. It's your turn, Ed oh, boy. No. <laughs> Ed boy. Uh, Not oh boy. I guess it's two sessions ago we started storming the space. And uh, half of us used deception to make a performance and sneak our way in and then ended up abandoning that plan and gaining an ally and locked. Uh, oh, yes. Here you go. Serious. Why can't Boy. I tap? Start a point. Oh, now the top simulator is broken. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, and we made our way through the right side of the fortress and eventually... Together, we, we ended up clearing out the space and coming to a peaceful agreement and recruited a lot of people to join us. And now, uh, I is revealed to be, uh, revealed himself to be Signer. And now we're about to make our way out of here to figure out the next step of our journey. Correct, on all counts. Yay. We are. That being said, and Zerodon is a beast, correct? Yes. <laughs> Zeron held the, the, the runner hostage. He's that being said, it's great. After a brief jaunt southward back into town, we have arrived back into town. <gasps> back to Ramo. Yay. You can go ahead and Ramo. put your guys anywhere within, oh, let's say this box. I have to find my guy. Where's my guy? <laughs> my guy. No, my boy. Baldur Hell. Baldur Hell. There we go. I'm trying to find a good version of this that I want us to listen to. Oh, oh yes. yeah, there's music. Hey, Found a theme. <laughs> I'm sitting here like, ah, oh, yes, we all say the same thing. Uh... Sorry, it's an echo chamber sometimes with memes. <laughs> just going forward, just be sure to credit the dudes that I uh, put this in here. Yeah, yeah, I keep on forgetting I need to do that. I could still link Good. all the other ones. I just yeah. keep on forgetting to put that into the descriptions. Absolutely will be putting credit to the people. See Welcome when, back man. to the town of Ramo. Um... We'll say basically a day has passed since you guys have left, and now it is uh, sunrise. You guys spent the night in the castle up above there. The town is hustling and bustling, and it looks to you as if the uh, town guard has been doubled since last you were here. Um, shopkeepers are open for business, the Colosseum has recently been cleaned, and statues of the goddesses are being polished and well kept. Uh, Feel free to roam around, shop, spend your renown, do what you gotta do. Spend a few hours here. We do have to prepare for a long journey ahead, after all. We will want to establish a turn order of how we do things, though, just so we don't get all like, Kubi, can I buy like 80 million things? You didn't. Eh? So we'll, we'll go ahead and I'll roll for initiative and see what happens. How about that? Okay. Okay. So okay. everyone keep track of your numbers. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I'm not. Keep, we're, we're keeping oh. track in a much more simplified way. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Our names Somehow. are just being reordered. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're all shuffling. Okay. Then... Cool. Turn order is set. All right. What? Oh, oh no. <laughs> 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 okay. Like. Hi. <laughs> I do. Um, so you have money, right? That that 
I yeah. gave you. You've been given money, yes. and you can visit any of these shops. You can visit the tavern. You can visit the Colosseum. You can visit the Statue of the Goddess. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. Plenty of people to talk to as well. I have prepared stuff for each and every single one of these villagers, by the by. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Um, Sure. And even if I um, haven't, I can improvise. Yes. All right. Um, in that case, let's go talk to this person for fun. Go talk to Marcus. <laughs> and the joke okay. comes full circle. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yes. Marcus. <laughs> Hi there. Good um, morning, good miss. Um, what is your what is your name? Out of curiosity. I'm the captain of the town guard. My name is Marcus. Oh, you're Marcus. The barkeep has been talking about you yesterday, and I accidentally mistook you for a different cavalier. Glad to have met the real deal. <laughs> was he? Good things, I hope. <laughs> oh, yes. He said he you took over the Coliseum, I think it was, if uh, I remember correctly. Or was it something else? Not quite. I took over my position here the, as the head of the town guard once my father had passed away. He was the lead the before one. this. Ah, uh, and how's the job, then? Uh, Hope it's well. stressful, as of late, but pays well, well fed. Otherwise, doing moderately well. Good, good. Um, excellent. Did you need anything? Nice to... Otherwise, I'll be on my rounds soon. Um, uh, no. Well, what services do you provide? I'm guessing you just patrol and... Correct, yes. I patrol, I lead my men on occasional missions to fend off brigands or pirates or whomever may be invading the town, if that is a thing that happens. We haven't had one in quite a long time, and I intend okay. that not to be a problem. Good. Appreciate the reassurance. Uh, if that's the case, then I'll be on my way. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. You too. Alrighty. You so, As you leave... Can I just have you stop okay. right here really quick? Yep. Uh, you, you see a young boy kind of like run up to you <laughs> and uh, just kind of like, you went up north where uh, Mr. Eyes went, right? Uh, Yeah, I did. Little kid. Wow. My mom told me all about him. He said he was like some big hero in the war. Is he cool? Oh, yes. Eyes is really cool. Um, A bit strict, but... A bit strict, a little mean, but sometimes you need that. Um, he's really powerful. Uh, really good with a bow. Man, you're super lucky. I wish I could be half as cool as he was when I grow up. Oh, same kid. Same. <laughs> you, nearly in your 30s. Him. A boy. <laughs> <laughs> boy. Boy. <laughs> oh, cute. So this little dude is most likely going to be hounding you for information as you're patrolling in the town. Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Um, He's going to follow you. <laughs> That's oh. fine. Right. Let's talk to this person. Oh, uh, um, hello. Hello. Sorry, I'm not much for conversation. Did you need anything? Uh, no, I just wanted to say hello. Um, say hi to the friendly faces around town. Okay. Um, my mom says I probably shouldn't talk to strangers, but thank you for stopping to say hi. Of course, I can respect that. Um, have a nice day. You too. Uh, Aww. In that case, I'm going shopping. <laughs> I guess. I'm going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a kid following me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would. <laughs> so you're going shopping. Yes. Uh, did I give this guy? I did. Okay, so this guy is a general shopkeeper. You see several books lining the walls and several vials of strange and glowing fluids lining his shelves. Uh, he greets you with a wave, and as you walk in, uh, strange aromas and incenses pierce your nose. Oh, lovely. <laughs> welcome, welcome in. Please. Have a look around. I sell many magical tomes and elixirs for keeping the body nice and healthy. Oh, lovely. I'm not much of a magic user, but um, I know people who might enjoy these. So I, can, I will look around, take a whiff at some of the nice aromas, um, 
give him a nod and then probably just leave because I don't know. Ditches. What I would buy. Yeah, cool. I'm just ditching this place. As you're ditching, we're um, gonna go ahead and switch gears to somebody else for just a minute. Yep, that's fine. Hey. <laughs> All right. Uh. I'm gonna say Phoenix recognizes the exact kind of shop this might be. <laughs> that would be a, a very, a very apt thing to recognize. Yes, you I like Phoenix. recognize it as a well, bookshop and magic potionery. You know, people sell magic tomes, people sell potions, things you need. Hey, uh, what kind of, what kind of magic tomes do you have in stock? Uh, let's take a look. See, I carry everything from fire magic to astral magic, light, and for some of those more uh, intriguing eyes, we may have a special on other things as well. But um, take a look around, see if there's anything that you uh, would like. If you're looking at Anonotomes specifically, I specialize in fire, thunder, and wind magic. Um, and I do think I still have a supply of dying spark versions of magic. Yes, let me see what I have. One moment. Uh, shopkeep goes in the back and then pulls out as far as anima tomes are concerned, six copies of these books and I can't find where we are. There we are. You can go ahead and edit that in later if you want but those are what he presents to you. Fire, Thunder, Wind, Dying Blaze, Dying Spark, and Dying Gale. Ooh. Okay, I see them on the reference sheet to you. Oh, okay, that's what the dying ones are. Got it. Uh, how, how much is a, a wind tome? It's for a basic wind tome. Let's see. Not me pulling up my actual price sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Would not expect you to know all the prices off the top of your head. That's a lot of info. <laughs> I don't test me. I used to. Very used to. Let's see now. For wind magic such as this, I would let it go for two fifty. Two fifty. That does sound like a fair price. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, that sounds good. I will right, buy okay. a wind tome. <laughs> 250 hey, hey, and a quick question. Yeah. Hey, quick question. How much gold are we supposed to have? Uh, I'm taking a look at your sheet right now. Uh, first, I think a, a number of mine got deleted. You should have 1,100 total. Okay. If you haven't spent anything. I, I would have had 1,099, and apparently that would have saved. Yeah, I think the one I spent one. I spent one coin on milk. <laughs> yeah. I had to say I was bought it. I bought a bead. <laughs> Give me some milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> All right. Uh, pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure as well. Have fun. Stay safe. Hey, thank you. And now excited about a new book, she walks out while burying her face in it. <laughs> <laughs> Shove nose in book, find place to read. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think. Standing yeah, I think I'm just gonna like <laughs> do paces around the Colosseum as I'm reading. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> this knight is so like so cute. confused, like the hell. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the fourth time they've walked by. Huh. <laughs> yeah, just. Do, 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 do. <laughs> he starts making a game of himself, like, all oh, right, how many times is this broad gonna pass by? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh, blacksmith. Yeah. As opposed to a whitesmith. <laughs> Actually, okay. now I'm curious if a whitesmith is a thing in actual lore. <laughs> Something to look up later, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You head to the blacksmith. The sound of iron pounding against steel sharp in your mind. You can hear the bellows hissing and weapons being forged. 
uh, a burly man would walk up to you and ask, What can I fix you with, love? Uh... Let's see... Is armor a thing? Armor is indeed a thing. Uh... Do you have any other questions? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was DM question. <laughs> um... Depends on what you're looking for, I suppose, is the other question. He sells shields and weaponry. Uh, okay. Um... How do shields work mechanically? Uh, as far as mechanically goes, shields fit in your equipment slot. Uh, basically, you can carry around as many equipment as you like, but you can only equip one similar to a weapon. Mm -hmm. And what do shields do for me? Uh, well, there's a number of shields he would have for sale. I guess you would have to ask him what kinds he sells. Okay. Um... Could I... Go ahead, you're fine. No shot. Right. Can Tell I you get what. a look at the shields? Tell you what, I'll help you out. Uh, you're, you're taking yeah, a look no. around in the shop here and you see uh, two types of shields on sale. You see a wooden shield with a leather front on it and you see a shield made of pure iron. Those are the two types that this guy sells. So okay. a leather shield and an iron shield. Do those just like add to defense? Correct. So in your items and equipment reference that is on your page, you can kind of control F there. You can find leather shield and iron shield. Those are the two that he sells. Oh, okay. And he'll also throw in there, if you're looking to reforge some of your weapons or armor, I also do have uh, forging services as well, if you want to increase uh, your weapons proficiencies or potencies or what have you. Oh, interesting. Basically, that's my way of saying you can add a plus sign to the end of your weapon and we can add things to it. But other than that, you notice he sells swords, lances, axes, pretty much any and all martial weaponry hangs on his shelves. What does reforging an item do? Reforging an item, basically what that does is you can take your current weapon, say for example either your slim sword or your bronze sword, uh, and you can apply stats to it. The more expensive you want to make your weapon though, the more expensive it's going to cost in gold. So say for instance you want to add 5 strength to a bronze sword, that's going to run you quite a pretty penny to do. Can you reforge wow. shields? Yes. Okay. Pretty much anything that can be equipped, you can reforge. Okay. Uh, how much for the iron shield? For the iron shield, I'm pulling up my price list again. Well, I don't mean to brag, but I've got some pretty quality iron here. I'd let it go for about eight forty. All right. Uh, what about the leather shield? Leather shields, easy to come by. We've got plenty of beasts. Uh, I'd let a leather shield go for about 450. All right. Oh, think about it for a second. <laughs> okay. I'm so bad at making choices. <laughs> Would you like someone else to go while you make a choice? Yeah. Okay. Well, you are doing your window browsing. We'll take a peek at someone else's turn. Okay, oh, kitty, oh, kitty. I'm gonna pop over this way. You're gonna pop over that My way. Mother always told me to visit statues. 
Aw, I'm gonna pray to the yeah. goddess for good luck and safety. Mm -hmm. Or something. Or whatever you want to do, I don't know, I'm not your mom. Yep. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> true, 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 true. That, that is a possibility. I could roleplay yeah. as your mom at some point. Mm -hmm. You notice a villager kind of just like leaving the statue as you kind of approach. Oh. Good day, sir. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Rather windy day here, huh? It's always windy on the sea, for mm -hmm. sure. Ringo kind of does like a simple like just prayer, kind of clasping her hands together, lays the like little tarot deck on the statue for a minute as she prays. What do you pray? Just, just safety in the journey, because huh? this is a big deal to her. Okay. Safety for ev her and everyone. Can I have you roll me a hmm? I just realized I haven't put faith anywhere as far as these characteristics go. Interesting. Roll me a barter check with advantage. Oh, barter check with advantage! <laughs> We're dealing with the gods. <laughs> I mean, what is praying except bartering with your faith? Uh, well, uh, with advantage, you said? Yeah, so like roll your dice twice and then give me the better of the two options. Uh, uh, five. Are you sure you're rolling both your d10 and your d100? Yes. Okay. Uh, get specific. What do you want to pray for specifically? Just general uh, safety? <laughs> uh, yes. I would like to pray just no one gets hurt. <laughs> okay. You feel soothed. Do you? Are you praying for the safety of just you and yourself or the whole party or? The whole party. Cool. Can I have everyone in their temporary stats gain one to both defense and resistance? Oh, shit. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. One in what in resistance? One in defense, one in resistance. This is just going to be a temporary stat. It will go away at the end of this map. Okay. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. <laughs> I, like, I like the fact that Rico probably saw the child, by the way, on her passing. She's like, huh. That's a baby. That's a baby. Little baby, man. I'm just going to go ahead one. and just put these here for my own frame of reference here that we have. Why does that say minus one? No, it's supposed to say plus one resistance. Fuck you. I, I discover new problems with my system every single day, and I keep refining it. Okay. So that's just here to let us know that we have that for all of our guys. Yay. All right. yep. Nearly runs into Phoenix, just uh, <laughs> heads up. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> well, no, no, just be be careful. Don't trip. Uh, I'll be fine. Thank you. And just, she takes one pause, looks back at the child, squints for a second, just, that's <laughs> not threat. It's <laughs> not a threat. You said the baby is not a threat? <laughs> Yeah, just, well, she couldn't tell at first. She just saw it at first. She was like, are they just, like, following? Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Just kind of having fun. Doing kid yeah, stuff. Yeah, just a kid. Just, she kind of walks into the shop, kind of passing by Nessa, just, oh, hello, Nessa. Oh, Ringo, hi. You doing hi. some shopping, too? I, I definitely need to. I can't just keep carrying around Henry. The weapon's gonna that get damaged fair. eventually. Yeah, you gotta get yourself a Henry the Second. Uh, well, hopefully this man sells what I need. If not, I'm going to have to look for someone else. Yeah, so you're heading that's into how the magic shop. Yep. <laughs> I'll move out of your way. <laughs> you're welcome. No <laughs> Alrighty. So you Hello. hop into the magic shop. You get the same greeting and wherewithal as the previous shopper had. Mm -hmm. so welcome, welcome. We sell plenty of wares for mages and plenty of elixirs of health and vitality. Uh, what could I say that you're looking for here? Let me take a gander at you. Take a guess. You look to be some sort of a stargazer, aren't you? Yes, you're actually correct. 
<laughs> Very interesting. Um, as far as astral magic is concerned, I did get in an interesting shipment from one of my friends lately. Let's see if I can still find it. So, of the three spells that he sells of astral tomes, he sells Ibram, Rat Spirit, and Sleet. Ooh, let me take a look at Sleet really quickly on my reference sheet. If you want to know what it does, uh, it is icy magic. If a penalty is active on unit, or if a bonus is active on foe, it neutralizes penalties to units and bonuses to foes. I kind of want that. I'd like Sleet, actually. Okay, a copy of Sleet. This is kind of a rarer magic around here. I would let it go for, say, 600 gold. Can I haggle you just a little bit to go maybe, uh, say, 450? Give me a barter roll. Uh, uh, D100? Yep. 24. And let's take a look at your barter check. No, it's a new. Yeah. Nah, this this mage has been here for a while. He's like, mm, fair enough. No, I I really don't think I'd be willing to let this one go for any cheaper than six. Six hundred. Uh, yes. I'll tell you what. Okay. Okay. Oh, fair enough. Six hundred. All, okay. is. All yours. Okay. Yep. Uh, let's see. So put that on my sheet. Uh, should work if I copy and paste. Uh, where does it go? In equipment slot one? Yes? Uh, yes, you would put it in your slot one for your extra yep. stuff. And if you want to yep. swap it out, you can just, like, move your fire over to, or whatever you currently have into your other slots. Yep, I see. Alright, thank you. I yep. And with that, she kind of. I am just gonna end the turn because I don't want to take too long. Cool. Give other people a chance. Next is the boy, the big boy, Zeradon boy. Uh, yes. Um. Don't wall Zeradon. Guess I'm initially go to the <clears throat> magic <laughs> shopkeeper. I think real quick. Okay. You enter the magic shop again. Various elixirs wafting to your mm -hmm. nose, and you're just like, eh, overcome with sense. <laughs> mm. Ah, welcome okay. in. Yes, yes, it's been a wonderful day for business. How can I help you, sir? I was just wondering if you had anything of the likes of wards or talismans or anything like that. Wards or talismans? Wards or talismans? Let me take a look. Let's see what I can find for you. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So, looking in the back room here. Uh, as far as talismans go, I mostly just sell uh, potions for healing. Nothing of uh, wearable value, you understand. Uh, but if you want, I sell vulneraries, concoctions. Oh, keep that in mind. Thank you. I'll just bow out. Fair enough. And head on over to the blacksmith. Fair enough. Blacksmith. <laughs> yeah. The sound of beating metal pounds in your ears. Again, Blacksmith welcomes you as you see your friend uh, Ark perusing wares. And he goes, ah, uh, what can I help you with, sir? Oh, just looking to fortify myself for upcoming battles, particularly against mages and other esoteric types. Uh, mages and such. Well... I'm more of the, the physical type of defender, you know, swords, shields, armor, that sort of thing. I don't really muck about with uh, magic and such. Um, if you're looking for wards or talismans against magic, I'd say my next door neighbor over to my right would probably be your best bet. But, big man like you probably would be still interested in buying a new weapon. Am I right? I, def I definitely am. Uh, just trying to deal with current situation. I may be back, though. So. Fair enough. Take as much time as you need, sir. Alright. Do I have enough turn to go down to the Alchemist? Or... Yeah, you haven't, you haven't spent any money yet, I'd say so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just want to overstay my turn. Literally, time is money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look-see. So you enter the Alchemist shop. Uh, as you are here, um, 
it's a little bit dark, but a, a, a gnarled old woman kind of comes from the back room and says, Oh, a visitor. Don't get many of those around lately. How can I help you? I'm looking to fortify myself against the esoteric bulk of the battlefield. I was told you may have something that may assist me. Ah, yes, yes. As far as defending against wizards and magic types. I have a, I have a couple of things that may catch your eye here, dear. Uh, she pulls out um, two things. One would be a resistance tonic, uh, which would temporarily increase your resistance by two for a full map. Uh, but the other one is a little bit different. It's, it looks to be the horn of what you can assume is either a goat or a ram of some sort, uh, some sort of animal. Uh, and she advertises it as, this is a horn known as a shell horn. Uh, you give one blow of this horn and you'll feel magically resistant, uh, you and your allies around you for a little, for a little bit here. What the shell horn does, you blow on it, grants res plus four to allies within a two-tile radius for one turn. Yeah, four! Whoa. That's cool. This That's early cool. on? That's... I'm not saying it'll be cheap, but she has it. Yeah. For one yeah, also turn. only yeah. has one use. <laughs> yeah, one turn. Oh, yeah, I was about to say oh it's and it's one. only one use. Mm -hmm. The other one was a full map. So it's kind of like your other abilities. Like you give that a toot and then it's like, a, oh shit, we need, we need to defend against mages like pronto type deal. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, like you can only toot it once. Whereas, mm -hmm. the, whereas the tonic, like you enter a map. Oh, there's a lot of mages here. Go, go, go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, as far as shields or permanent stuff that defends against uh, mages, uh, not a lot of early game stuff. That's fair. Um. Well, actually, hold on. I may bend my own rules a little bit here. Um. But if you're looking for something a bit more expensive, dear, this may be of interest to you. She kind of reaches behind her counter and pulls out a little... Uh, brown burlap sack and as she opens it you can see a little faint red glow this is a scale off of a fire dragon dear i hear that a person that wears this under their armor uh gets resistances against all sorts of physical and magical implications so she's offering to sell you a dragon scale which grants defense and resistance plus two while it's equipped Okay, but I see that it has durability, so does durability mm -hmm. just go down whenever I get hit, then? Correct. Okay. It also doesn't mean that you have to wear it all the time. You can easily unequip it and re-equip it. But that also does correct. take part of your turn. Yeah, Fire Emblem is a little bit particular when it comes to defending your body. Mm hmm <laughs> Always has been. Always will be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to Fire Emblem. <laughs> Do I stand really far away? No, you're fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely some fascinating items I'll keep in mind for the uh, Yeah, nothing for today then. Fair enough. I can pop by at the very least. If I still have a turn, I'd just like to go back and buy one of his iron shields. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> so iron shield, that cost <laughs> so, so I back and Ark is still like sitting there. With, <laughs> just you know, holding two <laughs> shields in her hand, just like, hmm. <laughs> 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 right, not much reason for the iron shield. Uh, 840. Wait, so did you buy the dragon scale or no? No. No. Okay. Yeah. 
However, I will let you know that if you do choose to reforge an item, you can also kind of just tell me what you want to do, and I'll tell you how expensive it'll be to do that as well. So if, for a random example, you wanted to give your iron shield a little bit of extra resistance as well, we could haggle. Yeah, how much would that be? Ah, uh, how much are you uh, looking to get out of it? Depends on how much I can afford. That's fair. Uh, let's say... <laughs> I only got 260 left. I don't know if I have enough for any of this reforging. No. Sure, sure, sure. So for forging resistance onto a shield, that's going to cost... 350 per point. I only got 260 at the moment, so... That could be something you could look at later. Once you have more money. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. It's not like we uh, won't probably money. find a blacksmith again. <laughs> Ever. Nope, this is the only, only one, one in the world. <laughs> the only yeah. shop in the world. Trouble to Romo every time. <laughs> no, no, no. There'll be other smiths. Don't be so worried. Uh, I need to reforge my armor. <laughs> Back to Romo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but we're in fucking Boira. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're right. We are currently in Poera. Good eye. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jesus, much. But we I just got to. We just got to Masan. We got to cross the yeah. ocean again. That's the joke. That's the joke. It's like Rigo. We have just yeah. gotten to Alberic. Do not fuck this for us. I know. I think I'm gonna fucking fuck this one. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell your fortune you're not gonna like the outcome. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Okay, sorry, That's sorry. I don't, I don't mean to keep taking up Zach's turn. What's up, bud? Oh, I was just going to thank the Smith for service and then yeah, I took my iron shield and that out. Fair enough. You are now equipped with an iron shield. Iron shields grant plus three to your defense while equipped. Yes, and they have infinite durability. That's why I got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> infinite durability is nice. Yeah. It's just like, I'm already keeping... It's like, my weapons already have a limited lifespan here. It's just like, oh, here's something that'll work, you know, once. Or, you know, a couple of times. Like, uh, no. Yep. I, I need something. I need equipment that's stubborn as I am. So. <laughs> but yeah, I'll go ahead and... I think at that point, do we have like an agreed upon rendezvous point with our CEO here or anything? Or... Not really. He's just going about doing some uh, errands on his own here. Um, I suppose if you did have any rendezvous point, you'd meet back up at the tavern. Yeah, that makes sense. Barkeep keeps yeah. bar. Yeah, barkeep. He keeps bar. Yeah, I'll just. <laughs> I guess I'll just hang out outside for now. Just pull up a nice tactical rock and sit. <laughs> I'll polish my gear or something on that. You maintain your armor and weaponry. Very cool. Uh, Robin, are you set to make a decision, or should we go to Xander for a bit? Um. Oh yeah. Uh, I think I'll just take the leather shield for now. Fair enough. So the leather shield it costs four hundred and fifty, and it is yours if you pay for it. Okay. I don't I have to do subtraction. You said 450? Yes, 450 gold. Okay. I'm afraid we'll have to use math. <laughs> Yay! No, it's not like I already do that all day anyway. <laughs> I like how I was the only one who was like, Yay! <laughs> <Yikes>. <laughs> I used to like math. I love math. Me, I, took an error to the knee. I have this calculator. <laughs> I can't do math. I have to pull out a calculator if I want to do anything in this game. Uh, okay, so I think the blacksmith. Mighty fine working with you, of course. Enjoy that shield. Stay safe out there. <laughs> Since that wasn't really my turn, you could just go to Xander. Oh, yeah, I mean, that was the idea. Okay, my bad. <laughs> now, it's PC's turn again. Wait! No, oh, shit. No. <laughs> I've been standing here for four hours, though. Uh, 
I will make my way downtown. Walking fast. Walking fast. We galloping fast. fast. <laughs> No, 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 no! <laughs> Can't escape the meme. Yeah, never can. So you head to the alchemists first. Yes. Okay. Hey there. Do you have anything? Sorry, we're gonna say something. I'm, she was just gonna say, Ah, welcome, Gerald. It's good to see you again. Hey. I'm getting ready to go on an adventure. I was wondering if you had anything... Uh, Resistant towards magic. Oh, as far as magic is magic concerned, interesting. A knight just came in here asking about the same thing. Well, I as you know, I sell think I may know them. Of course, that can help with resistance against mages. I sell a, a shell horn, which grants resistance to you and your allies for a little bit. It's enchanted by me. None taken. And uh, if you want something on the rarer side, I did offer this to your friend, but I, I am also in possession of a dragon scale. See. Uh, what would the price be for the uh, brain? What was the first time? Resistance tonic. <clears throat> Resistance tonic. Uh, uh oh, we're losing Kubi. Uh, oh, is it time? I think it's maybe time. No, oh, no. I'm still here. No. Can you hear me? Help, help, help. Oh, there we go. Now you can hear me. There is. Oh, there's the disconnect. There it oh, is. No. <laughs> I just got a we'll notification that Battle.net is disconnected. Steam is disconnected. Damn. We'll never uh, yeah, I think your That's actually a little earlier than usual. There is oh, it's yeah. five o'clock. It's right at five o'clock. Six o'clock for me. It's only eleven. Oh, oh yeah, it's time zones, but it's, uh, it's on the hour. Uh, on the hour. Actually, it's eleven. No, <laughs> no I know. Oh, actually, six. Yeah, on the hour, I have a thing to share. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. So it was Vulcan's fault. He took everything down so he could watch his video. Yeah, I know it's a clip. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Last also... session. I also put uh, Ringo's mom in VC chatter. Hey, it's back up. Oh, she looks sweet. Yay for She's Ringo's so... hot momerson. Okay. Uh, yay for Ringo's hot mom that re is a pretty, pretty nun lady who fell in love with a cat man. I don't know why I invited you, Zendra. You're already here. <laughs> Sorry, Kubi, I can't. I'm already playing Fire Emblem Tabletop with someone else. No, that's fine. I just <laughs> take time. Okay. Oh, I didn't even... I, I got thrown back over here. Uh, time is relevant to you now. <laughs> this is awful. So now that clip is playing in my tabletop simulator, and I don't know how to undo it. How do I go to Discord's Wait, what? overlay? How did what? <laughs> <laughs> how do I how do I go to Discord overlay in in games? Oh, we all got it. Uh... Um, I, think you, every, I think you have an option to make your own keyboard shortcut for it. I don't know if I've changed it ever. How do you how do you get there normally? It, it's in the it's in Discord itself. I, I, I think it's the overlay settings. Overlay settings. Shift and tilde. Interesting. Cool. Tilde. It will not let me pause the video either. This is amazing. Yeah. Wonderful little program you've got here, Discord. I think I think I ran into that issue one time too, and couldn't figure well, out what the fuck was even going on. Oh, the clip is finished. So uh, I guess that's that story. It starts <laughs> auto playing a ten-hour documentary. No. I would I would, um, I would quit Tabletop Simulator and relaunch it at that point. Really, works <laughs> the table leaves. It's the Fire Emblem Iceberg like, explains. Flips table throws, I don't know, uh, squishy leaves. Yeah, why? Why <laughs> squishy? Me. Well, because she's why? the most durable, I think. Oh, Wait, but... why am I the most yeah. durable? Peachy's the same height. Oh, I. Mm. Pick your pick your fucking toddler to punch. I guess. I guess we could roll. I, roll. I was going to give a legitimate Rogue reason to why I would not throw Momo, and then I thought better of it. 
I may not be that tall, but I'm hefty, so I don't think you could throw me. Nope. Not gonna try. <laughs> you should fly. You know what? So you have you permission to throw me. <laughs> what what were the items again? <laughs> it was So resistance tonics, a dragon scale, yes. and a shell horn. Just, me, uh, how much is the resistance tonic? Resistance tonic is 700 gold. Uh, I will grab a resistance tonic, please, right. if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. You pass the gold over and she thanks you for your purchase. Yeah. That's not how you type 399. There we go. Alrighty. Um, uh, question. Answer. Um, so obviously, like, bards can wield, like, a variety of things. Am I committed to the daggers, or can I change at any point? Ooh, fun question. Um, let me take a look at my rules, actually. One moment. Okay. So just looking at the rules themselves, you pick one weapon to be provisioned in when you make your character. Okay. So in your case, you are a bard who is proficient in shurikens. There may other be, yes. be other bards that use bows or axes or lances, but you are a knife guy. So I'm committed to knives. Correct. Unless okay. you want to change classes at all, which is also a possibility. I thought bards couldn't change classes. No, they can. They still can. Oh, they can. You can, you you can can't change promote. from bard to a different class, oh, but bards do not have a promotional is. class. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. In that case, I'm going to the blacksmith. You go to the blacksmith? Yes. Hi, Ark. Hi, Monty. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Do you give Monty a little pat on his noggin? Nah, I don't think he likes being touched. He doesn't know me well enough yet. I'll give him a wave. <laughs> Very smart. Yippee. <laughs> we had a whole conversation about this at the bar at some alleged point. <laughs> yeah, in the tavern role which, thing. <laughs> which I do need to go back and read at some point. <laughs> Highly recommend. Someone's got to teach me later, by the way, how to use that bot. I, I'm a, I'm a I'm little the grandma expert. when it comes to the technology. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's that? one of my favorite spots. Uh -huh. Who Wait, looks at hands, looks back. Uh, we killed Kubi. Lost Kubi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, lost Kubi. Welcome there back. Kubi is. God has returned. Help. We heard the lala. <laughs> Yes, so you could. I don't know what the fuck just happened. My Discord restarted. <laughs> oh. Hey. All the technical issues. Uh, when, it rains, it pours, right? <laughs> yes, when it rains, it pours, am I right? Yes, when it rains, it pours. I'm totally sorry. We're having Nessa go to the blacksmith. What you looking for? Uh, knives? Uh, yes, I would like to see your knives, good sir. <laughs> okay, so he lays out a variety of kniffs. Uh, da, da, da. In specific, he lays out brass shurikens, bronze daggers, and bronze knives. Okay. So, uh, I'll just copy and paste these for your reference. These dudes. Okay, I, don't, I need to get into the right channel. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, see, read some of the information. Hmm. Um, how much would the bronze knife cost? Bronze knife. Curiosity. Bronze knife will run you three fifty. Three fifty. Aye. Uh, all right, then I'll take that. All right. Um, you buy yourself a please? bronze knife. All right, I'll chuck that down. Leave my thingy. Uh, wait, wait, where do I put it? Oh, equipment slot one, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yes, equipment slot one. Okay. And then I'll spend 350. Yeah, 350. Yep. Oh god, mouse. Uh... <laughs> Want I should paste the rest for you? I have it up. Yes, please. You got it. Thank you. Yep. One night for you. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, I thank him. All right. And then I and thank you go for my purchase, and you fuck off, I assume. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I fuck off. Um, <laughs> I wave off. to Phoenix, who likely isn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Um, and uh, I she, head to the... Oh, she sorry? Have, she would have seen you, like, passing by in the corner of her eye. But, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I head to the statue of the goddess. Okay. Uh, you see the same villager that you had just passed by earlier, uh, kneeling and praying. Ah. Um... And she kind of, like... Stops and kind of finishes her prayer and walks out and says, Oh, I remember you. You were that lady that uh, passed by, right? Uh, yes, I was. Hi. Hi, again. Um, I was just praying to make sure that my brother stays out of trouble because he gets a little, um, adventurous, I guess is the word. That is perfectly fair. Um, I hope your brother's safe. Oh, me too. He's just, like, over there, but I think he'll be okay. Yeah, I, I came to pray for a family member as well. Okay. Well, I hope they stay safe, too. Thank you. It's nice meeting you. You too. Uh, okay. You kneel uh, down. I kneel down, and I'm praying to my, um, my father. Hmm. Anything specific? Um, I just hope he's alive and safe, wherever he is, since uh, he's missing and I'm looking for him. Hmm. Can I have you give me a perception check? Uh, 100? Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, 33. 33. Da -da -da. How particularly religious are you? Just so I know. Uh, I kind of... I don't accept nor deny the goddess's existence. Um, I think Nessa's kind of religious views are she turns to the goddess when she's in distress, but that's really it. Fair enough. Well, you feel about the same way that you do whenever you pray to the goddess, I suppose. Just nice words to a nice lady for hope and faith. Nice. <laughs> cool. Um... Yeah. I look, I smile, but I kind of look down because I, I miss my father, and Aww. I leave. Um, I guess my turn's almost over, but question. Yeah. Um, could I busk for money? <laughs> that is hilarious. Please do. <laughs> Please do. <Okay. laughs> uh, I'm going to go to a crowded area um, here. Um, go to a I'm crowded hoping, area. I hope my <laughs> good wit and um, charisma grants me coin. <laughs> sure. Um, give me a charm roll as you perform. Oh, fuck yeah. Um. Uh, well, fuck, 77. Uh, well, <laughs> as you're playing. <laughs> um, God damn it. What, one of the soldiers just kind of comes up and says, Oi, oi, oi. Hey, none of that now. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I get it. You're, you're not from around here. Just stay in the down low, eh? I understand. Sorry, sir. You're fine. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you got, you got told to shut up by the law. <laughs> Man. Okay. Cab. Well, a cab. Yeah. Continuously. I guess I'll... <laughs> I Oof. guess I'll just stand in time and be sad because wow, okay. Um, <laughs> it, no, no, no. <laughs> fuck I didn't you mean too, to make you sad. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, Phoenix, it's your turn. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh man, <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you like sad. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it was hilarious. The dice don't lie. <laughs> I'm just kind of simultaneously taking turns as you guys do stuff, so don't worry about it. Yeah, okay. I figured. I just wanted to let you go like ahead and finish moving those two. 
I'm sorry, I love the child just behind me. <laughs> oh, I'm glad no. the child stopped stalking me. Cool. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. I, I like her freaking looked behind her. Huh? 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 <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> as, 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 as I'm walking by this guy, I finally like notice him out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, oh, hello. Sorry if I'm bothering you by pacing around. <laughs> mm -mm. No, I haven't been a bother at all. In fact, uh, I got a funny number for you. Oh? 16. Six? Uh, <laughs> what, what? I'm sorry, what's what's that mean? That's how many times you've paced around the call of tea so far. Uh, oh. <laughs> she kind of like blushes <laughs> in embarrassment and she's like, okay, I'm a... Uh... Wow, I, I, I didn't don't notice. Don't yourself up about it, lad. It's just been... <laughs> It's been giving me a bit of a uh, something to do while I'm at uh, at my watch. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, what what is this place, by the way? Anyway, like it, the building looks pretty cool, actually. Oh, this this is a coliseum. It's um, well, not to put it any one way or other. It's a place where people come for blood sport. You know, if you want to fight in the coliseum, we got plenty of folks who'd be uh, willing to bet on you, and it's a good way to get stronger too. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> well, Just recently clean. Recently clean. Okay. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse about the building. <laughs> don't worry. There's no visible blood. Yeah, don't worry about it. There's no blood on the ground currently. <laughs> currently. <laughs> it could be if you went in there. <laughs> Or scorch marks, or whatever. Would you like there to be? <laughs> Would you like to? Doesn't <laughs> that hurt you? Would you want to? Do you want it to hurt me, Kevin? <laughs> did, did you want it to hurt? <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, uh, this has been interesting. So <laughs> I, I'm going to stop reading my book now because clearly I got way too into it uh and thank you thank you by the way for letting me know <laughs> of course have yourself a good day miss y you too now I'm just going to just leans on his lance yeah, there goes my phone <laughs> <laughs> uh I would like okay I'd like to do a perception check on the Go town. Ahead. See what I can. Da, 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 da. Where's my shit? What are you uh, looking and or listening for? I don't know. Yeah, just think... anything. Right. Like, just curiosity, I guess. I roll a 29. And your perception is? Only 15. <laughs> Well, you see the hustle and bustle of the city as things happen, people going around, doing their daily chores, shopping, talking, kids playing in the streets. It's a nice, peaceful day. Oh, cool. Uh, I guess I could go exploring these other buildings over here. Like maybe the Alchemist. <laughs> okay. You mean to list off what she's selling again? Because I don't want to do the whole song and dance every time someone walks yeah, in. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, she is selling currently various tonics, a shell horn, and a dragon scale. Various tonics. You know, like strength and magic and defense resistance. Pretty much any stat she has a tonic for. Okay. Um... How about... I'd like to look at the defense tonic, actually. Okay, the defense tonic would run 700 gold. 700... Any chance I could barter that down to 600? Give me a barter check. I doubt it, but let's try it. 65. Nope. 
<laughs> nope. It price stays <laughs> firm. Man, me and you are not allowed to barter. In fact, and, she's a little offended that you tried. <laughs> I'm so, oh, no. I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> it, it's fine. All right, 700 sounds fine. All right. She sells you the defense tonic, and you are 700 gold uh, less in your bag. Okay. Thank you. You're oh, welcome. I, 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 Gerald. <laughs> well, we got back just in time, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Great timing. Amazing. Oh, beautiful. Uh, that'll, I'll call my turn there. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're just saying hi to me. <laughs> I, I just and happened to be in the same shop. <laughs> oh, sure. I was like, wait. No. It's Ark Survival Evolved. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna head to the shop. Okay. Don't know you what can... that voice came from. <laughs> Your throat, I assume. <laughs> um, right, so I'm gonna I... ask if she has any vulneraries. Vulneraries are plenty. Vulneraries are pretty cheap. They go for 150 gold. She also sells concoctions at 400. What concoctions do you have? Uh, well, concoction is a type of item. Uh, a concoction, if I recall, heals you 30 HP instead of just the usual 10 uh, that a preliminary does. Right, right, I remember. Yeah. Alright. That is if I'm recalling my information, right? I don't actually have the sheet up. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Very <yeah>. good. <laughs> wow, I am that kind of person, eh? <laughs> I'm trying to see how many vulnerabilities I can get. I get a max of four, but I don't need that many. How uh, hurt do you plan on getting? <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna say so <laughs> one vulnerary still I has I used two. Three, uh one one vulnerary has three uses, right? Yeah. Yes. Whoa. Raven? I you... thought I had three vulneraries. No. No, well, one vul Oh for fuck's oh, yeah. sake, tabletop spimulator. Did it again. Uh, oh no. No. But yeah, I know. One vulnerary has three uses. So, grand total, it can heal you a total of 30 health um, if you want to do all your uses of it. All right. Okay. That time seems more accurate because I think the previous one was internet. I was yeah. like, well, it's open again. Oh, cool. <laughs> Okay. Well, I, okay. My whole have, team is just. I have. But. Oh no. I made it back in. So did I. Loading. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you leave in when we disconnect, or you, do you tend to skip over it unless something interesting happened? I haven't been cutting anything out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's how the clips are for. So we can have a, a big cool clip show at the end of the session or whatever. Yeah. Uh, that's right. <laughs> can you can you clip where I fucking killed a guy? Oh You'll yeah, I will. <laughs> cool. Are you talking the about the just, like through, the, through door. the door? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. That'll be the next clip I make actually. Like that's yeah. next <laughs> on the list. <laughs> and I intimidated the man behind me. Um, um, um. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh -oh. no, I was assuming the vulnerabilities were like health potions in the and I mean, they are, but they've got multiple uses. That's just how the yeah. vulnerabilities have always Yeah, instead, it, of, so. instead of chugging the whole thing, you drink a third of the bottle. <laughs> you just go, mmm, a little sippy. Oh, it's stout. <laughs> in D&D, &D, you eat the bottle. <laughs> yes. It's assumed that you just toss the glass bottle away once it's done. Yeah. Sometimes vulnerabilities have even been seen to be in like a little uh, calfskin canteen type dealio. Mm -hmm. oh, That's yeah. one of my favorite uses of them. If, if you look in, movie. if you look under Perdita's coach, or no, oh, oh, I did it again. You're doing it again. Yeah, Ringo. I've been playing Perdita in Power World. That's why. 
Uh, if you look under Ringo's coat, she actually has like a little calf skin that holds a few lo her little vulnerary. Oh, that's just nice. reusable. <laughs> Good luck though getting under her coat. <laughs> She's not gonna take that off right now. Oh yeah. Well, the one I have is almost used up, so I might as well ha have another one on hand for yeah, that. Yeah, no, that that's fair. So you buy a vulnerary for 150. Yes. I don't know what that voice was, but there you go. <laughs> Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Turn her off again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somehow. It's not my turn. <laughs> it's not my turn. It's not my turn. Hello. Ringo looks behind her. Hello, Ark. Oh, Ringo just kind of looks behind her. Hello, small child. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You've uh, kind of been... Behind me. Hello. Hi, eyes. <clears throat> Ark, is, um... Yeah, Ark is intrigued by the sounds of, I assume, fighting coming from the Coliseum. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go in? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, if you want to participate in the Coliseum, there is a 100 gold entry fee. You can fight as many opponents as you are physically able to, though we uh, can't guarantee that you will be 100% uh, safe if you do. Okay. So it's it's a, it's like two to death type thing? Kinda. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll I thought it was gonna be like boxing or something. <laughs> No, every wanna... Fire Emblem game is a little extreme when it comes to Coliseums because it is to the death. Yeah. Well, I I suppose it's slightly more fitting for the setting, I guess. It is medieval times. Indeed. Okay, never mind on that. <laughs> <laughs> you do get to keep your winnings, though. Just putting that out there. Yeah. It's a risk reward Maybe another situation. Time. <laughs> Yeah, maybe another time. Okay. I'll, I'll just say Monty got spooked by the people and be like, no, okay. No. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I, I wouldn't put you against anything you couldn't technically handle. Right. At least not for your first opponent. Anyhow. Sure. After that, you're on your own. Okay. <laughs> so you had to tavern word? Um. Sure. Okay. You head tavernward. You see a Zeradon. Hello? No, it's Nightlight. <laughs> That's what we're doing over there, Chief. <laughs> I know you. I see you. Okay. Anything else you would like to do on your turn? No. Okay. Ringo, take it away. Hello, child. Hi. And then Hi. Just, uh, just kind of comes up and is like, I'm sorry, is he bugging you? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I'm used to, you know, being around children a lot. Yeah, he um, gets it in his head that he wants to be a knight. This is uh, this is Archie, by the way. He's, um, oh. well, I don't want to say a friend of my family, but it's a good enough way to put it. Hey, it's good. What? She kind of squats a little bit, just to kind of get better on eye level with him, even though she's probably the same height. He's like 4'10". Yeah, he's... okay, so she just kind of, like, leans her head down just a little bit, just... He's 15, in fairness. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. He's gonna have a growth spurt still. <laughs> just, so why do you want to be a knight, kid? I want to be a knight so I can help uh, my dad go back home and, and, and help take back our, our, our old house, because... Cause, Cause, since we moved down here, it's been kind of hard to, for him to like make a living and stuff. Ah. Where are you originally from? If you don't mind me asking, you don't have to tell me that information though. Oh, I'm from Alberic. From like oh. the north north part of Alberic. Oh. You... Wow, you're from really deep into Alberic. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Yeah, his dad used to be a knight. Um, that. 
Yeah, no, that checks out. And, uh, well, uh, let's just say he's not a knight anymore. Yeah, it must be hard to find jobs for a knight Which... over in here. That's not at all familiar. Just... Uh, Ringo kind of shuffles your foot. I I don't know much about being a knight, but if you ever need someone to teach you how to use magic, I can do that. Oh, well, that sounds interesting. Maybe. I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Tell you what. She kind of digs in her pockets. She gently hands him the rat spirit. <laughs> you, you give boy a rat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just, if you... Uh, t tell you what. Try learning with this, okay? Oh, uh... Okay. He like yeah. he like looks at it and is like unsure what to make of it. <laughs> she kind of shows him like kind of how to open it and you summon the spirit gently. She's she, she's not like used to being the teacher. She's more used to being the student. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zach. <laughs> Whoa, rat be upon me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's rat be upon me. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking woe rat be upon you. So just, I used to call those rat spirit Henry, but you can name him whatever you want. I hey. was the image of the person throwing the rat. The you can name him child rat. Full of rats. It's, I, it's not a book. It's technically a stick. Yeah, it's it's like a little uh, rod that you. Mm -hmm. It's a magic it's a, wand. It's a fan. It, technically, it, 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 but yeah. It, it's got about 40 uses. It's good for a beginner weapon. Oh, wait. How Enjoy. much do you have specifically? One minute. 40. Uh, 40 specifically. Black. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm going to keep track of that. Thanks. Yep. And so it is uh, now gone. Yep. Goodbye, rats. Rat spirit. I'll miss you. I won't, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll miss it. I'll miss it. You'll be pro rat me upon you. I'll probably replace it later, but hey, at least he can go and be a magic baby. Learn things. We come back here three days later and we realize that the child has died in a rat related incident. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. <laughs> Poor child. I think you can have a child. It's educational. Like, no. But he can hurt himself. That'd be a very important lesson. <laughs> yeah. And with that, she kind of just nods her head gently at him. Just, I wish you the best of luck. Since now she's taught him kind of like how to open it and whatnot and use it. Okay. Thank you. Of course. Uh, I hope you can, you know, help help out when you can. Okay. And uh, maybe when I come back, you'll have been able to, you know, learn how to be more of a knight. I, sorry, I'm not like the best with a sword, but mm, who do we use a sword? Uh, Geralt, and uh, he uses one, and so does uh, Ark. Yeah. Do you ever want to use a sword? Mm, okay. Kinda, yep. The Griffin Rider and the Red Armored Man on the horse. I think. She kind of like looks around, sees the horse, and goes, Geralt's somewhere uh, that way, and she just points. <laughs> I, we'll I'm probably to... see Bird from here, too. <laughs> yeah, and she points to the Griffin Knight. I think Ark's that direction. I don't know uh, the, if the pub allows children, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> Listen, I she doesn't know. Oh, I'm know. listening. Backpedal. <laughs> Eventually, the brakes will kick in. <laughs> yeah, she's thinking about it. She's like, well, Zarin on too, but that's if you want to like become a wall. I'm pretty sure. A wall. <laughs> wall. A man's got... man, If you want a profession so in, say, architecture by becoming a fence. <laughs> mm hmm That that man just stood there menacingly. But yeah, uh, if you need me though, I'll. I'll be in the pub. I'm gonna okay. probably go get a glass of milk. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you all, all back there once we're um, done doing our chores, so... Mm, yeah, um, of course. Oh, actually, hang on. Mm -hmm. Then she comes kind of turning back. Yes? Uh, once everyone is done, I want y'all to meet me in the town square, okay? Oh, okay. I'll tell them. 
Thanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, you probably can't go in the pub, but maybe in the pub later if you want more. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe I go to the pub. Uh, I'll go this way, tell them, and then I'll go to the pub and tell the others. Okay. And she just kind of relays the information to Phoenix and, uh, uh, Geralt. And then kind of just says her goodbyes before telling them that she'll meet them there. Does the same over here. She has no idea in technicality where the fuck Nessa went. Just, Nessa, Nessa just fucking left. Yeah, like complete other side of town. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, wait. <laughs> so I guess I'll just go and stand this direction. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't, that'll end my turn. <laughs> It'd be funny if Ark responded with, I can't say I've seen her. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> nice one. Blind ass motherfucker <laughs> saying, can't see shit. Can't see shit. Yeah. The blind one approves. <laughs> Two vision impaired people. Nice. <laughs> Oh no, Nessa can see. I, I can't. It's squishy cap. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> IRL, just the two, the two people who literally can't see. Mm, nice. I see. <laughs> yes. Yes, I see. <laughs> I, can't. I can't see you. But I have to do that gag sometimes. So like, like mm, yes, he's just staring at a wall. <laughs> mm, I see. <laughs> Alright, that's a wall. Yes. <laughs> Need a sword. <laughs> sword. Sword, 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 Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> no, you unsheathed it. You did it. You drew your sword. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Donald in a nutshell? What do you mean? Uh, uh, look at him, <laughs> Dexter. Good luck, Well, so far I have not been told anything about an updated rendezvous point. I'm no, still boarding on it. I came in there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Came oh, to both okay. spots. Okay, I, I just wasn't aware if my character was told oh, about that, yeah. but I guess I'll just start marching towards the town center then. All right, you march. We need to make it a soundboard thing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, we need to get like actual like steel on granite. Yeah. <laughs> I can just import the footsteps of like Reinhardt from Overwatch. He does a chuck. Yeah, that probably that would probably work. I do like Reinhardt. I find this. Jerry? I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> huh? Who's this? That's, that's oh, Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're right. Oh, no. hey, in a minute, Kramer, I have to be fire emblem. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jerry. <laughs> oh, my God. I borrowed I fire emblem. See, I can't oh, hear, I can't fire read. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, do math. <laughs> oh, <Lord> well, <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, hey, Ger- hey, Gerald. Uh, if you're about to ride to Town Square, I'm not too familiar with town yet, and I was wondering if you, if I could actually hitch a ride. I have an errand to do beforehand, but I do know that's town. If you head straight towards the wall, take a left, and then immediately after the house, take another, or take a right, and you should be right in uh, Town Square. Oh, okay. There's a fountain. Thank you. So, does, oh, there's a fountain. <laughs> there count. Is, I'm like, oh, count. there is a fountain there. Okay. Hey. <laughs> 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 Uh, sorry, I'm just preparing a thing that I should have had prepared earlier. Oh. You're good. <laughs> um, 
But, I prepared um, everything except for the thing that was important. What did it say? Whoopsie doodles. Whoopsie <laughs> <laughs> poopsie. Well, I'm off one key. I am. There we go. Going to make my way down. Making his way down. Tavern. Walking fast, chase. Nothing to hold down. We'll get off beedle, beedle, my beedle. horse and walk into my house. Okay. You Do have well. a house? He you live here? here? Oh. Yeah. He lives here. Yeah. Oh my God. Who with me? <laughs> we could have had soft beds this whole time. Just <laughs> how many beds do you think I have? <laughs> At least two. You have a, you have a family. <laughs> yes. Kick them out of the house. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My friends are coming over. <laughs> you gotta have a sleepover with the boys. Guys, go out camping in the backyard, which is also yeah. the street. <laughs> One part. Pardon me. One moment. <laughs> Ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. I'm still working on things. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so good. <It's> okay. <laughs> I like the three fucking villagers. <laughs> forgot that he lived here. <laughs> panic, 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 panic. No, no panicking. Just, uh, I... just going very, very quickly. <laughs> Be calm. So good. Still. I don't know. Why did I oh reference? I can't <laughs> take <Jesus>. it. <laughs> Okay, uh, Are you good? Uh, I'm fine. I'm doing a great thing here. <laughs> oh, mochi, <laughs> the way she was laughing. <laughs> You're like a mischievous oh, uh, little witch. Listen! Endearing late. <laughs> but like I am. <laughs> oh my god, can you do like, vo can you like voice Grumtilda in like... <laughs> And thingy and Banjo Kazooie for me. Like, that would be amazing. The fucking. The fucking wah, 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 wah. Yeah, the, the woman yeah. with rhymes. Yeah, yes, I can do that. She can spit bars medievally. I, I don't know. I can spit bars <laughs> mostly because of the fucking, like, the six years of vocal training I had to sing. So, yes. Shit. Oh. Hang on. Whoa. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We oh. fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. My bad. It's okay. <laughs> jump scares everyone. <laughs> oh, jump scarer. Uh, jump scarer. Uh, yeah. I don't have one of those, but I will do my best. Just compress. <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, your mama. Mom. Oh. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, you're good. I was being silly. My mom was I, I don't. Room. I don't have one of those, so that's the best approximation that I have. There you go. I'm a child. A child. No. The child. Oh. He said that he's a ranger, but I don't have one of those just lying around, as far as a token goes. So he's also a cavalier. Just to pretend that that sword is a bow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for for me. <laughs> Jessica, I love that. Harold. And this guy. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Not again. Minute. Oh no. Oh no. There's two of them. I saw it. I saw it. I saw him. I saw him and went immediately, I emoji. There you go. Hey, oh, wait a damn minute. <laughs> hey. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> oh my god. Sander! I don't understand. <laughs> okay, no. so explaining a bit. So the last time that we went ahead and did this, Xander played as an archer whose name was Ruben Sinter. Nowadays, he's playing as a uh, cavalier named Geralt Sinter. Oh Jesus God, Christ! Sander, I'm so stupid. This is the man that fucking abducted me. Amazing. <laughs> That's true. That did happen. What? Yep, no, you can <laughs> Alternate timeline. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my God! That's amazing, That's and I love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love it. A little bit it. of knowledge for for those who are watching the the highlights. 
Hi, me, Vulcan, and Xander were in the original version of this campaign. <laughs> yeah, this is the second time I've run this uh, grand total, so. I thought it was the yeah. third time. Maybe. Technically, yes, it would be the third time. <clears throat> right, so I, was, I, was, I was around for the first, like, beta test thing you did. That's right, that's true. Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess this is the third. The third full time we're going to be doing it. The second one didn't really pan out, so. Yeah. Well, the first one didn't really pan out either. Mm. We finished it. it. We did. We did finish the first one in the end. Yeah. Wait, did you finish the first one or the second one? I don't know which one is which <laughs> anymore. The, fir <laughs> the first one is the one uh, that was this. The, the, the first one kind of split, uh, like, the, the group split in half, like, later down the road, and so there would be, like, two of it turned into two. Uh, okay, did that game come first, or did the game with, of uh, you know, Vicar, was that before oh, or after that? The one with my ex, yes, that was the second one, technically. That one never finished. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Glad we cleared this up because I was confused. Sorry. Also. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's was one. I don't know. No, you're fine. You're fine. It's good to get a time scale of how things work. Hey, Harold hey. will get off of his horse and walk into the house. <laughs> Embrace loving wife and children. <laughs> I am home. Hey, Dad. He's sad. Hey, as well, uh, hold down the hey. fort here. I'm doing good. I've got some nudes. Oh? So, you know that letter we received? Uh, well, yeah, I remember. Well, I seem to be going on an adventure to reclaim Albert. Uh, and you're going by yourself? Your wife would kind of pipe in there. Yes, yeah, this, this is our chance. This is our chance to reclaim our home. And... Yeah. Well, good on you, brother. I'll tell you what, while you're away, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll man the fort. How about that? What I was here to request, actually. <laughs> I... I'm going to weave uh, the rest of my gold here I have some provisions that I gained from our first job with this group and uh, I'm going to leave it here for you guys to use as you need it uh, I will write to keep in contact with our progression through our goal and keep updates as I can but Harold I trust you to keep down Hold down the fort, and Ruben, do as he says. I need you to to make sure everything here is safe. Hey. Okay. Up to you, get. But I don't plan on on dying on this mission. I'm not going into this if I didn't think there was a chance. Our leader is. Dependable, and I trust them, so. You best not come home to be in a box, Gerald Sinter, you understand? <laughs> and I understand. But. Then I will drop the pouch of money. And. Oops. Can't type. There we go. There's about. A little under 400 gold there for you guys. Whatever you guys need. And, uh... I don't know how long we'll be in town. Uh, we're rendezvousing... Rendezvous... Yeah, rendezvousing at... Or to rendezvous at the town square. But I will let you guys know before we head out for good. But we don't know how long we'll be in town. Okay. But if I can, I will be back before we leave well, you stay safe out there okay i will and uh and then just ruben just kind of like runs up and just gives you a big hug <laughs> oh 
Aww. Aww. All right, champ. <laughs> we'll count on you. Just kind of nods and just is trying to stay strong for you. <laughs> I also don't want to do a Xander impression right now. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Not a difficult man to impersonate, but I don't want to do it during a big emotional moment. <laughs> Aww. Oh. And I will head towards the door. I'll be back okay. before we head out. Alrighty, and so you go. There we go. And I'll make my way towards the door. That made me emotional. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, not me just casually grabbing the archer stats so I could probably stat out Ruben really quick. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not a Why does he need just... stats? <laughs> no reason. It's a peaceful city, I tell you. A peaceful one. Oh, uh, yeah, I can finally get this on my name up there. There we go. It's scary to me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of what to do for a character for a long time. I was like, ah. He just went with Cinder again. Wait a minute. <laughs> Lord, I was like, uh... wait a minute. Like, I, just, I found the idea. I was like, Ruby, what do you think? Which, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, yep, this is happening now. <laughs> it's I just such thought, a was like, good idea, too. You... I was like, parallel universe, what would happen if something was slightly different? If, if he got the letter instead of Ruben, what would happen? Hmm. I had from it. And it was very cool. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back, Jack. Thanks. Fun. Well, if we're all about wrapped up with all our emotional moments and shopping, you are back yes. once more <laughs> into the city center. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm running. I'll, I should know. Uh, I'm running for my life because Nessa hates being perceived and being an inconvenience. Um, and she feels like the piece of, biggest piece of shit right now. <laughs> no. Aww. She's like, are you also a piece of shit? Yes. Do you want to know the, do you want to know the sad part about that role? My charm's 38. I Damn. ranked it up for a moment like that. You could have. Uh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's so sad. I know. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm here. I'm out of breath and beat red, but I'm here. <laughs> arc. Arc. Oh, I thought we were still doing turns. I'm no, done. we're done. We have no more turns. <laughs> Everyone Swoosh. has done shopping, I assume. Have we all done everything we wanted to do? Anything? Else? Any last minute errands or anything you want to... Participate, participate oh, in. Sorry. Uh, mm. I think I'm good. Yeah, I haven't used my bullnary. I don't need more. Spend oh, all you, my gold. You guys, you guys would have helped healed up over the night. Oh, I need to do that yeah, too. Don't, yeah. don't, don't waste your items Reset. on Reset non -map your tokens. Oh yeah. <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta make. Okay, there it is. Damage dealt. Fighting. Yay! Let me. Uh, to do. put. Center in there. I can't see my HP. Bar. There we go. Um, can I? No, I can't. Oh wait, shit! Right, because I right, left up. Um, I'm gonna move okay. my HP to the front so I can see. Two, now. There we go. This is so small. There we go. Seventeen. Right. <clears throat> um. Right. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, and that also wouldn't be on the sheet anymore. Oh yeah, I also need to update that. I have another vulnerary. Uh. Well, barring no other uh, immediate things needing done, I think we're ready to head out, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, so we are going to go ahead and march toward the capital city, which is due... Well, this map is technically upside down because this is right right here is north uh capital city would then be east which is this ish or no pardon me west this direction excuse me yes, I thought you don't, should. don't judge me <laughs> but uh yeah just as you are all gearing up to leave 
We're gonna have a musical cue change. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh no. It is gonna be just what I fear. How do you figure? I don't know. <laughs> that would be dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just trying to find a proper song for this particular one. Okay, sorry. Um, I think good one. So music has is currently being posted. It's not fucking loading for whatever reason, oops. but it's in media. There it is. Uh oh. Oh no! It's exactly what I feared. <laughs> what I hear is lost music. <laughs> An alarm oh. starts sounding towards the port. We've got a pirate ship! Fly in the black colors! Dibs. <laughs> Dibs. On the ship. <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> On the <laughs> ship. Yes, I want the ship. Fuck yeah. Now pretend this is a pirate ship, please. It's, it's totally a pirate, a pirate ship. ship. Yeah, Beautiful. that's a pirate ship. That's the most oh. beautiful pirate ship I've ever seen. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a model of a decent pirate ship in Tabletop Simulator. Yeah, no, that's yeah. fine. That's why that's a pirate ship. <laughs> that's why that's a pirate ship. It is a pirate it's a ship. a lovely one. What a lovely pirate ship. What a lovely pirate ship. <laughs> you see swaths of pirates begin to pour from the brig. Or, I guess, the deck of the ship. The leader of which makes short work of the guards who are standing watch. No! No, buddy. And would anyone like to give me a perception roll, please? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, actually. Thanks. I always would like to give a perception uh, roll. I did a perception roll, but I failed. <laughs> well... Uh... I succeeded by the nick of my nose. Okay. Uh, it is a <laughs> 23 out of a 25 for, like, total. So. Anybody else successful? No. Uh, oh shit, yeah. Um, I'm taking really going to hold that on checks that Requires sight. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not succeed. I can see. So I see. I perceive. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. So the pirates start pouring out, and you hear their leader go, All right, loves, here's how this is gonna work. You're gonna surrender everything to me, Copper, the pirate with a silver tongue and an eye for gold. And if you don't, we're gonna burn this whole city to the ground. And, uh, who did their word? Houses start to burn. No! Oh, oh. Hey. Are we going to use the smoke effect, or is that going to break us again? Oh, it actually is working again. Oh my god, that's uh, cool. Oh, Wait, wow. No cool villagers, but that's cool. You've actually Yo. updated it since the last time. Whoa! So cool. Let's gather around the campfire. <laughs> Sing a campfire song. Oh god. Do that. Mercy, Andy. That's my ori. Obviously, the captain of the guard just kind of runs out and goes, I really hate to ask this of you, but we could really use any and all able bodied people to help fend off these pirates. No need to ask, sir. Draw your back, Marcus. Of course, we need, we need to also evacuate these houses and shops quick. All right. Priority number one remains the lives of the civilians. <coughs> if anyone can get them out of here, do so quickly. I'll, that, I'll take them back. <laughs> and that's where we are going to go ahead and end the session. Yeah. No! <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> It's I'm been two hours, that. guys. I was going to say, it's two hours and we're just now starting to come back. It's a four-hour session. Freaking, I knew it. Can we do a four-hour <laughs> session? Are you down for doing a four-hour session? Because I'm not. My voice is already <laughs> yeah. tired. 
Yeah. Yeah. That, that's fair, I, yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> since we got here a little later than I had anticipated, if you guys want, I'm also going to do a session next week, but I may or may not have plans already. But I basically have this encounter pretty much all done. Okay. So. Okay. I mean, it's up to you if it, like, when... It oh, no, I'm down. You. I'm down for doing it next week. I would just need uh, another week or two to prepare for the session after this session, essentially. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. That is fair. I Mark. have Tuesdays so, free, so... Tuesdays yeah. are free, pretty much, for me. I just, whenever I don't have session, I usually I do date nights, so this is fine. Well, like I said, this will just be like a... Combat. We're just finishing up combat, and that'll be the whole session for next week. And then we'll start doing the two weeks every two weeks after that. So Yeah. 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 That for, being said, for for the viewers of the video later, uh, that was the plan was we were going to move to bi weekly. <laughs> to one, give me time to prepare and two to give my brain a fucking rest. Yeah. Usually we play video games together when it doesn't happen, so but uh, as far as that earlier perception check is concerned, uh, last <laughs> Pirates have four rounds to repent. Gracious. <laughs> uh, that's how long it'll take me to get into range. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, as far as noticing things are concerned, um, whoever succeeded their perception check would notice that these guys are wearing uh, traditional garb from the Isles of Masan. I don't know what that means. God damn it, it is her. I don't actually know her in character, but out of character. God no spoilers. It. Nope. <laughs> Never any spoilers around here. But she has brawlers now. Those are new. Those are cool. Yeah, those are definitely new. <sighs> Look at him. He's all punchy and big. Level 15. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she's a little out of our range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the objective, I suppose we'll put it this way, would be to minimize damage villains. control. <laughs> yeah. Damage control. Yeah. Keep people alive. <laughs> Kill pirates that are actively trying to hurt people. That sort yeah. of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I am fast. Think the boat. I, sh <laughs> I just want to gather them that. all up Quicksilver style. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just remember trying to get to sway her back then. She fucking punched Oh yeah, she me. decked you last time, that's right. <laughs> she, she fucking, like, took Perdita from maximum health of 18 to 3. Jesus. In one punch. She didn't use her weapon, she just punched me up raw hand. But yeah, this, uh, this is the last map that I had physically fit, uh, prepared, so... The extra yeah. couple weeks are to, you know, one, make a new map, two, see where the story goes, because I want it to go in a different direction than it did last time, kind of. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Cool. And that'll probably it's come by virtue long. of uh, the newbies. That'll come by virtue of you guys making decisions and me mm -hmm. going with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. That's basically Precisely. what happened last time, and you went, uh-oh, 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 <laughs> what are we done? <laughs> yeah, I, there, there was a lot of uh-ohing, for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> I am gonna go head off though. I have to find dinner. I'm starving. Right. Fair enough. That's okay. I am gonna go have myself a shower, and then I have another uh, thing that I have to do pretty much immediately after this. So I'll talk to you guys later. Later. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks for playing. Bye. Bye.